Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm here once again to share to you the Word of God. And the readings that I'm going to share is the readings for this coming Sunday, September 17, 2023. To start with, let's have our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen, Lord God. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to listen to your words, O Lord. Please send us your Holy Spirit that we may understand the readings that we're going to take up. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, since we have already our opening prayer, let's proceed to the Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owned, who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. As at that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant beat him. Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, you wicked servant, I forgive you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless it's of you, forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Here, my brothers and sisters in the Holy Gospel, this in this gospel emphasizes the centrality of forgiveness and reconciliation. Concludes with some very strong words of Jesus as he bluntly states that his heavenly Father will forgive us in exactly the same, the same way as we forgive one another from the heart. In other words, if we want mercy from God, we must show mercy to others. Yan po, brothers and sisters. So, Jesus clearly um, encouraged us in this readings, in this gospel reading that I just read, the gospel reading for this Sunday, to forgive our 
brothers and sisters as uh, as we forgive i mean to forgive our brothers and sisters who sin against us so that god the father will will forgive our sins amen so brothers and sisters let's proceed to the first reading A reading from the book of Syrac. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. <clears throat> Forgive your neighbors in justice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If anyone who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days sent sit enmity aside remember death and decay and cease from sin think of the commandments hate not your neighbor remember the most high covenant and overlook faults the word of the lord thanks be to god here, my brothers and sisters, in the first reading, the wise man Syrac teaches that an Israelite should forgive his neighbor's fault so that God would forgive them. God would forgive him. So, meaning that Syrac encouraged the Israelite people to forgive his neighbors to forgive their neighbors their brothers and sisters so that Yahweh God of Father will forgive their sins as well Amen so brothers and sisters let's proceed to the second reading a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living the word of the Lord thanks be to God brothers and sisters here in the second reading Saint Paul reminds us of the Lordship of Jesus none of us lives or dies as one's own master we are servants of one and the same Lord and no other than Lord Jesus Christ and also brothers and sisters that is why Jesus died and came to life so that he might be he might be God of the both the living and the dead amen so brothers and sisters thank you very much for listening I hope na may natutunan po kayo sa akin sinishare po sa inyo this uh, about the readings for this coming Sunday. I hope na may natutunan po kayo at may dagdag po ninyo sa inyong pagdalo for this coming Sunday's Mass. And God invited us to attend the Mass during Sunday, every Sunday, as it is in, it, in His commandments, make holy the day of the Lord. Amen. So, 
we have a closing prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, Lord God. Thank you for uh, sending us your Holy Spirit. Na nagbigay po sa amin ang kalaman namin pong naintindihan ang iyong mga salita. Panginoon na amin pong pinag-aralan. Panginoon, tulungan mo po kami na amin itong maisabuhay at maipahagi sa aming kapwa. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and uh, like and share na rin po, brothers and sisters, so pang marami pong makarinig sa mga salita ng Diyos. Ayan, sa salita ng Diyos. Ayan po. And then, please subscribe my members na, ano, na i-flash ko po dito sa video na to. Sana po, um, support nyo po sila dahil mga supportive po sila. Thank you very much and God bless us all.